Hello again, YouTubers and Beybladers. 24-7 here again for Beyblades 24-7 within our Beyblade unboxing video brought to you by ToyGamingEmporium.com. For today's unboxing, we have one of the newest releases from Japan. It is BB-122 Diablo Nemesis. It is, of course, part of the 4D system. It has three different tips that can be used depending on what mode you're in. I'll get into that a little bit more in a second. Here you can see the imagery of the different tips. And if you don't know, the design of the Beyblade basically puts a lot of different Beyblades that like in the anime and stuff, it absorbs into the design. So if you look closely at the Bay, you'll be able to see like parts or reminiscence of a bunch of other Beyblades. If you see a bunch, feel free to comment. Let me know who you all see within the Bay. And within the face build, you can see different guys along the edge, along the clear wheel, etc. So there's a lot of Beyblades kind of combined into this one, if you will. Take a look at the back here. If you care, there's all the different stats. No big deal. We'll look at all the pieces when we get out of the package, of course. There are two modes, attack mode and ultimate balance mode, I believe it's called. In the attack mode, you can use two different tips, which you manually change. While in the ultimate balance mode, there are three different tips, and they change through contact in battle. You can start with your choice, but at, through certain kinds of contact, the bay will change its tip on its own. So that's a pretty unique feature. There you can get a look there. So in attack mode, you can have the S tip or the XF tip, and you can decide which tip you use. While well, in the balance mode here, you got XF, S, and S squared D. And again, those tips change through the course of battle. Again, you can you can start with anyone you want, so you have different strategies that way, but at any given point in the battle, you don't really know what it's gonna use when. So, we'll crack this bad boy open and get a closer look at it here. And I do, of course, have these bays in stock right now in our Amazon store, which ships only within the U.S., I'm afraid. The link for that is in the video, script video description box below. And I'll try to get these also put on a toygameremporium.com later today as well. So, and on there, we do ship worldwide other than Mexico just because... The three times I ever shipped there, there were issues every time, and just too much of a hassle to bother with for the few times I get orders from there anyway. So, if you're from Mexico, sorry, but you're gonna have to order from somebody else, I'm afraid. So, get all these parts out here. Take just a minute. And I have uh, another order on the way. This is from the most recent mail day video I posted, which also had Random Booster Volume 9. I'll have unboxings for those soon as well. And our next mail day is scheduled to arrive next Wednesday, which is February 1st, 2012. So depending on when you're watching this, it may have already happened. So I'll try to get that mail day video made and upload that same day. We'll have another one of the newer bays in that order. You can probably guess and assume which one that would be. But I won't officially say that. You, you can wait until I receive that package and see it then. All right, so of course you got the light launcher too. Don't really need to show that in detail. Here's our awesome assembly tool, ho ho ho. Okay, so then here is the unique tip. Just some extra plastic on, there we go. Just a little bit holding on there. So I believe for the tip, there's something I need to grab onto and hold. Let's see. Perhaps there's something else I put on first confused here we have to put some on first because I see like a little knob there that can turn it because I watched some other videos first and look like they were like grabbing something lifting oh there we go okay this is a little hard to grab onto there so the little knobs there you kind of lift them up and then you twist them to change the tip so there is our extreme flat tip XF make sure I know what I'm saying here Yep, XF and then to lift it back again, we go to S, the spike tip. And the tip is on the skinnier side compared to other bays I've seen. So that's kind of interesting that the tip isn't really consistent in that regard. So then get, give you a look at all the different pieces here. Here's the face bulk kind of a lavender maroonish color. Obviously there are stickers as well, which I should probably show. It's actually got a more detailed background of the sheet. That's kind of first time I've seen anything like that for these. We a close up look at the Facebolt logo there. See a lot of different bays in there, kind of. Again, feel free to comment and let me know who you all see in there. All right. So then here is our clear wheel. 
and then the different pieces of our metal core and wheel and all that. I know I'm getting the terms wrong, I'm just trying to get through this kind of quickly even though it's already been five minutes. <laughs> you see how it sets in there? Looks like it goes, yeah, there we go. It's kind of like on the side, it's hard to see when you have know, all the stickers on, but you can see like different faces and stuff along the outside as well. Kind of cool. Definitely a lot of intricate details in this bay. It's very cool. Let me just pop this together quick. This will be in attack mode here, I believe. And put the face bolt in. I'll do the stickers off camera. I'll at least put the face bolt sticker on before I do any battles. Because I always get asked why I don't do the stickers. I'll at least do the face bolt ones. I don't know about the other ones. Because my bigger hands it's hard to get those stickers on. And I just feel they will, they will wear off in battle anyway. So there is the attack mode, how it looks. You got a bit of a gap there, a lip or whatever you want to say. Again, just right here, you can still change the tip, no problem. Once you know how to do it, it's quite easy, I guess. And then to change it to the ultimate balance mode there, let's see if we can manage that. Try to do this quickly. Let's see here. I think this flips over. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Let me see here. Let's see how it looks. Do I just flip over this whole entire thing? I know I seem like an idiot while I'm talking through this, but oh well. That's yeah, not gonna work. Let's see. I'm gonna cut the video away and get it assembled, and then I'll explain it. All right, that took me way longer than it should have, but I got it all intact now. And as you can see here, the metal wheel is actually free, well, if I don't hold the tip, is free spinning. And it, like I said, through contact and battle, where it, like a bay will hit it and make it spin a bit, you can see the tip changes as the wheel spins. So you can start with whatever we want, one you want, but through battle, the tip will change. So let me see if I can explain here exactly how it is assembled then. It is quite tricky, in my opinion. So, you can see here, so here we got the two metal parts. It's actually just laid in, and it, of course you can spin, there's something that locks in. So that was my first problem, because I was trying to figure a way to lock it in, forgetting that the whole thing spins. But I was probably thinking both parts together spun or something, but anyways. Then we will stick the tip the big large tip in there and now it's important to see where the like gap in it is like that right now the face bolt will not screw in you have to have it up there so you can see the gap there I think it's hard to explain but how it's how you see it right now that's how it has to be then you can just lay the clear wheel on top and then the face bolt should screw in pretty easily now you don't want to get too tight, probably, just because since this whole thing spins, it's hard to hold on to it. So you can tighten a little bit, but don't go crazy tighten it or you might have a hard time untightening it later. So that is how it looks all fully assembled there. And again, as you can see, the tip changes as it spins. Well, technically as it spins, but. And FYI, I have it set off to the side, as you can see there. If I change the tip manually like so, it won't change in battle then. So I guess you can technically have a single tip when you have the balance mode like that, if you lock it in like that. But if you switch over to that mode, then you'll have all three tips at your disposal that will be changing throughout the course of battle. So that will conclude our somewhat lengthy review and unboxing here of Diablo Nemesis. I'll for sure do some battles for this bay ASAP. Comment, let me know which bays you want to see it battle with the most. If you see me do an unboxing video for a Beyblade, I have it available to battle with. And there's probably others too I have that I haven't done unboxings for yet. But if I have an unboxing video for it on this channel, it's likely that I do not have the Beyblade currently on block unboxed. So just keep that in mind when you're making requests. And again, I don't at this time do customized battles. There's enough different combinations as far as just Bay versus Bay that I can do out of the package that if I ever get around to trying to do basically every possibility, that would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of battle videos without any customization. 
So I don't know if I'll ever get around to that. That was my goal when I first started this channel, but as more bays come out and I continue to be super busy with just keeping the business going with Amazon and website sales, making sure everyone gets the bays they purchase in a timely fashion. It's hard to find time to do all the videos on that these days, but doing the best I can. Um, I, w I would love to do daily videos for this channel. Hopefully I'll get there soon. For now, it's gonna be like one to three videos per week, varying probably, but I'll do them as often as I can. I'll get the random boosters going ASAP. I'll get some battles going. Um, also, let me know for battles, do you want me to, like I normally do with just myself battling, launching one at a time. Do you want me to battle with myself but use a Duotron launcher where there's less power, but they'll get launched at the same time. Or do you guys want to see me pretty much just do battles if I have somebody over and we can each launch at the same time? So let me know what your preferences are. I'll try to provide what you guys want the most. I'll likely continue using the BB-10 Stadium as that just seems to be the most popular choice overall. So I'll shut up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. You can then get email alerts for our future video uploads here on Beyblades 24-7. Give this video a big thumbs up for another great Beyblade unboxing video of Diablo Nemesis. Check out ToyGamerPrime.com and or Amazon store for your Beyblade and other toy and gaming needs. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next video.